everyone, it's Candace Smith and I have a quick tutorial today for you for a fun Christmas card using Doodlebug's new North Pole collection. So we're going to start off with a piece of Santa's scarf paper and it's a double sided pattern paper. The nice thing about making um, a card out of a piece of uh, double sided pattern paper is there's a pattern on the inside and it is a little busy. If I was going to write something on the inside I might want to use this side but sometimes I take a piece of paper and cut it down just to a square and I add it in here, I just adhere it, and then I have something to write on, and then it makes a really fun border. So these are kind of fun to use for um, your card base. So this is what we're gonna start off with. Again, this is the Santa scarf pattern paper, and I've just cut a piece of the Holiday Lane um, pattern paper as well. It's the one with the stripes on the back are the little candy circles, and I'm gonna face it towards you while I'm creating this, and I want this strip to go across the bottom. I'm just gonna adhere it. And now I've also cut out a, a rectangle of the Holiday Pines, I believe that's what it's called, let me check, uh, Playful Pines, sorry, Playful Pines, and I'm actually using the green dot, the back side of it, so the second side. And I'm going to actually slip this underneath my, I should have done it first probably, underneath my stripped paper, that was, let's do that. That's what happens when you're making a video. Sometimes just start back up and start over again. Okay, so we're just going to add this over the top. So you should end up with a card that looks like this so far. And now we're going to add our fun little deer and sleigh sticker from the North Pole icons. It's this one down here. We've got really some really cute ones on here. They've got the gingerbread house and some snowmen, a really tall snowman, some really funky uh, Christmas trees. I just love them, and a deer by itself. They're really fun. But I'm going to go ahead and use the deer with the sleigh. Pop that out. And I am going to grab my... I had it right here. Home oh, adhesive, it's right here. And, oh, there's another piece I need to pop out. Okay. And this is a little delicate. It's held on by a little tiny piece, so I'm going to try to be as careful as I can. I do this. Just add the foam dots wherever you think that it's going to need some support. Take the backing off. Okay. Get all the backings off. And now I'm just going to add this right here to my green pattern paper. We can see that. If you wanted the edges to stand out a little bit more, you could take a little bit of sandpaper and sandpaper the edge and it'll give it a little bit of a white edge and so it might pop a little bit more. But I just like the way that it looks like this. So I'm going to leave it. And now I'm going to tie some of our, our new doodle twine. Also goes along with the Christmas collection. Um, just around right underneath the, the deer and the sleigh. And I think I'm going to use maybe... Oh, let's see, the red maybe. Let's try that. I don't want it to be too busy looking. But, let's see here. Get my scissors out. Okay. So now I'll show you. I'm, I've showed it on different videos. Um, how to tie a string around a card that's like this. You actually take your X-Acto knife, and I like to just poke a little slit on the side, you can see that. Um, a little slit along the seam so that we can add it in there. And then I'm just going to run it through twice. Face it towards me while I do the bow really quick. Just, um, a little bow. I just do it like I'm tying my shoelaces. No special trick to tying twine. It's kind of easier than 
tying ribbon. Okay, so I've got my little bow, and that one doesn't really need to be snipped, but this one does. Okay. Right, so we've got our doodle twine on there. And then I have, from the die cuts, from the cutouts, I have this Christmas um, banner. I'm going to add it just right underneath our deer, along with some more foam adhesive. that right here and I'm gonna grab my sorry about that I forgot to grab my stickers I have my teensy type stickers that's what I wanted to have over here and apparently I forgot to grab it so this is what we're going to be using to do our Mary because we have Christmas on there and I wanted to do a little Mary and so I'm going to probably do maybe, what do you think, circles? Let's do the circles maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's do the squares. I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to move the banner down. Let's do like this maybe down here. And maybe we should just do Mary right here. I'm going to flip that around while I just my string. This is what card making is like with me. It's like read, read here and over there. That doesn't look right. Let's move it. That's just how it is with me. I can never get it right the first time. So that's just part of being creative. And this teensy type, that's in the um, ladybug color. It doesn't come with the collection, but it matches it, so it works nicely. Okay, so we have it saying Merry Christmas. I like the way that looks. And just for a last little um, touch to the card, we're going to add some jewels. And these are the new jewels. They're kind of chunky. I really love them. There's jewels. Um, this is the ladybug assortment. And they've got smaller ones, bigger ones, medium-sized ones. They don't have any of the really tiny ones, but um, it's just kind of a bigger assortment. Kind of fun and chunky. And I want to place just two of these medium-sized ones on the edges of the banner. Just kind of give it a little bit of extra bling. And then maybe just some small ones scattered. Oh, you know what? Let's do one on his nose. A small one on his nose, if I can get it without. Let's do that. That looks good. And then we won't worry about scattering them. Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> I like the way that turned out. All right, so here is our Christmas card using the North Pole collection from Doodlebug. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.